Right, so here we have a piano that simply refuses to stay in tune, so uh, we're going to uh, kind of pay attention to its uh, its emotions there, and we're going to upgrade it to <laughs> something else. But the first part of that process is disassembling it, and that's what we're going to do today. Yes. Mm -hmm. screws to take this up and yep I need to unscrew the part that holds the lid okay probably be easiest to unscrew it from these two Makes sense. you think because that's just four screws yeah that's oh yeah both of them yeah yeah but... take off the four screws and then that whole assembly comes off okay and then, as I understand it, the action should just lift, lift off as well. So we'll see as we go along. Take that off. Mm -hmm. That was quick. What are you planning to make, or is it just... We don't know yet. Yeah. <laughs> so we don't know what it's going to be yet. A lot of these get turned into desks. Or they get turned into, especially the uprights, they get turned into bar carts or they'll get turned into bookcases. Yeah, so this is a very short piano, so yeah. that limits us some. Yeah, this is a work. spinet, so it'll be, uh, it'll be something. The bench will be repurposed for sure. Okay. Okay, we're ready to pull the, move over this way. Oh, should just lift out. Yep, okay. should lift right out. Yay! For anyone who's not seen the side of a piano before, <laughs> there it is. <laughs> when was this built? It was the early 1900s, right? I don't know. Should, I was just looking at this. The first out. time it's tuned is 1987. <laughs> okay, well, maybe it's newer than that. Somehow I had depression. You can probably look at, if we wanted to with. look up the uh, serial number on the harp, I will get a shot of that. Usually you can look them up that way. Oh, okay. That's how I know the age of my own at home. Oh, yeah? Yeah. And funnily enough, the uh, this is from the Kimball Company in Chicago. But um, the uh, twelve one seventy nine is written here. <laughs> Maybe that's when it was that's made. Neat. Oh, yeah. Shut up. What do we do with this one? Because it's a screw. Might have to drill that out. Something in there. Oh. Like someone who's taken apart a car before. <laughs> I'll grab the oh. screw. Okay. 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 I see. Is two. And then, then we got to remove the action before we take the keys off. Yeah. So I'm thinking. So we can see that there's right around here there's a pivot point so this goes down this goes up yeah. and opposite way to it actually not opposite because there would have been something here right but so 
that moves, that brings this up so it can kick the hammer. You can, there should be a release under here for the um, front pan. pan. Yeah, here it is. I just released that thing right there. Just push it up and it releases it. And we gotta move the legs though. Yeah. Oh yeah, I saw them unscrew the legs, like just yeah, turn them. Yeah, unscrew the legs. I know someone who got a baby grand piano moved up to the second floor of her house by taking the legs off. Oh, <laughs> so now here's even more of the harp down there. As you can see, with the top notes here, all of those strings are shorter. You're starting there and then ending right somewhere right over there where we can't see. And then the very longest ones don't fit straight up and down, so they are at a diagonal going all the way down there. So, it's an electrical cord. I wonder if it's got a cable. Back right down by the cord. Oh, yeah. I wonder if it had a. And all of the black keys have a further pivot point. Oh, and these are numbered too. That's nice. Oh, nice. That's um... cool for when you make crafts with piano keys. Should be 188. <laughs> <laughs> There's a uh, this one has a screw. Oh, wait, that all comes as one piece, it, yeah. it goes all the way down to the so, bottom. Yeah, I've got two screws here. Then, no, it just lifts off. Yeah, it should just lift straight off. Oh, it's, it's connected here. Each one of these is connected still. Huh, that's probably interesting. Have to, have to you, would we be able to bring... Oh, there you go. Mm -hmm. How'd you do that? Just, Just push, push it. it. Yeah. This is where things start to get noisy. Ooh, <laughs> I see what's happening. These ones keep sliding back. Yeah. Yeah, the keys will lift up. Would it be easier to take the keys out first? Yeah. It might be. Did Think you want to nice. All right, here's our first key. Or... Ha ha! This is a B flat. <laughs> <laughs> Did you want to keep an order or something? Or uh, I, they could, they're numbered. They can, they can be reordered. Okay. Yeah. I, I was actually looking at, is there any that are hard to read the number? And yeah. a couple, but it shouldn't be a huge problem. It's... Just, it's um. Like 70 of them you can read and then 18 yeah. you'll figure out. It, it's kind of cool if you have the numbers. Some of the crafts you can make with them. You can feature the numbers. Ah. It's not critical. That's what I'm saying here. Oh, here's a penny. <laughs> Is that a penny? Is it a lucky penny? It's a very shiny penny from mm. 1999. We got some boxes we can probably use. Oh, All right. So now we think that ought to lift out. Yeah. Wow. There we go. Very cool. And there's a whole lot of empty space now. Yeah. But it is still very, very heavy. <laughs> um, you know. Watch your toes. There we go. All right. Excuse me. Mom. There. there we go. 
looking at these pedals again. So that chain is all the way up there. And then we've got most of the top half away now, but this would affect some of the action here. Yeah, the right and lace, lace stuff against the strings. This would be the most common one is the right pedal, which would... Uh, Hold your notes. <laughs> it keeps some of the felt on the strings and then takes them off so they ring longer. Don't know how much it comes through on the camera, but we can hear all sorts of echoes. Yeah. So this is meant to be an echo chamber and just hitting something near one of these strings will make it vibrate just a little bit. And the fact that there's a uh, 220 strings, yeah. 488 keys means that there's going to be a lot of vibrating. So these thickest strings, there's just one string per key. And at the very top, because they're so thin, there'll be three strings per key and each hammer will hit three strings at once. Piece down. Make a little package Nobody has phone calls for me. Oh. Snip those off. But you don't want to snip them under tension. Because yeah. then you'll lose an eye. For real. At this point, we have laid the piano on its back to make paneling the harp easier and a little less dangerous. Now this is the underside here. Curiouser and curiouser. We actually need to take the strings all the way off, or the same same guy is taking them as the harp, right? Yeah, but the pegs have to come out to because they go through the heart to the Oh, they got them all the way out? Yeah. Right. Unless we think you can slip them off. Right off. To cut the strings.
So we think it was built in 1962, maybe even June 1st. Uh -huh. Look at the uh, serial number up here. It also has a 62 in it. So it seems like maybe that that kind of all leads to 1962. Removing the last one. can edit this part out. <laughs> there it is. Uh, okay. You can kind of grab it by here. This one. All right, let me get my foot out from under it. And then if you move, we can just or even if you don't move it down. There it is, man. Ta-da! one big piece of cast iron. It Whew. is. Came from some, the... You know, some bigger pieces. Bravo. Bravo. 